Hi, Miss Graham here. Thanks for joining me. Uh, today I'm going to read you a really great story. It's called Alma and How She Got Her Name by Juana Martinez Neal. Um, what? Oh, oh, this? Yeah, I brought a friend with me today. She'd probably like to introduce herself. Let's see. Hello, hello. Oh, hello, what's your name? My name's Karen. Hi, Karen. So glad you could make it. Yeah, thanks. How are you? Well, I'm actually kind of sad. Why are you sad? Well, somebody earlier today was making fun of my name. Oh, they were? Yeah, and it really hurt my feelings. Oh, well, what were they saying? I don't know, and and they were making fun of my haircut, too. <sighs> I love your haircut and your name. You know what, Karen, might make you feel better? What? This story is about a girl named Alma who kind of doesn't really love her name. Um, and maybe it'll make you feel better to read the story. Would you like to stay for the story? Yeah, I would. I'm going to stay. Okay, great. Here we go. Alma and how she got her name. By Juana Martinez Neal, uh, published by Candlewick Press. Thank you so much for letting us read your book out loud online. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candala had a long name. Too long, if you asked her. My name is so long, Daddy. It never fits, Alma said. Come here, he said. Let me tell you the story of your name. Then you decide if it fits. Sophia. Sophia was your grandmother, he began. She loved books, poetry, jasmine flowers, and of course, me. She was the one who taught me how to read. I love books and flowers. And you too, Daddy. I am Sophia. Esperanza. She was your great-grandmother, he continued. She hoped to travel, but never left the city where she was born. Her only son grew up to, cr to, her only son grew up to cross the seven seas. Wherever his sa her sailor son went, so did Esperanza's heart. The world is so big, I want to go see it, Daddy, you and me together. I am Esperanza. Jose. Jose was my father, Alma's daddy said. He was an artist with a big family, like many people had back then. Each morning, he walked to the mountains and the plaza to paint everyday life. Sometimes I went along. Your grandfather taught me to see and love our people. I wake up early every day, and I draw a lot, too. This morning, I drew a kitty cat for you, Daddy. I am Jose. Hura was your great aunt. She believed that the spirits of our ancestors are always with us, watching over us. When you were born, she tied a red string around your wrist, a charm to keep you safe. I really like this story. I'm starting to think that maybe my name isn't so bad after all. No, your name is amazing. and You should be proud of who you are. Hello, Pura. It's me, Alma. Candela was your other grandmother. She always stood up for what was right. I am Candela. I love the story of my name. Now tell me about Alma, Daddy. Where does that name come from? I picked the name Alma just for you. You are the first and only Alma. You will make your own story. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela. That's my name, and it fits me just right. I am Alma, and I have a story to tell. Uh, Karen, I want you to be proud of your name. I actually have kind of a weird name also. I don't think so. Miss Graham, Miss Graham is kind of a normal name. Actually, my first name is Lark, and it's just a little bit different. But all of us have uh, something about our names that makes them unique to us. So what about you? Where did you get your name? Is, is your name from a family member, or is it all your own? 
Um, thank you so much for joining me. And thank you for joining me, Karen. And we'll see you next time.